Hi everyone, so today I would love to present you some of my flutes that I have. Um, I will first of all do s two categories of flutes. I have some of them that I use to decorate my room and other ones that I play uh, so much uh, more and uh, that's a really good instrument. So I will start. Uh, so the first one is that one. Uh, it's a pan flute, I think. Uh, well, I will not play it because I, I don't know how to play that one. Uh, but uh, it's uh, only some sticks uh, had uh, together. The back uh, looks like that. And uh, well, it's a good instrument. I, I don't remember when uh, I had that, but. Uh, it's a good decoration to me. <laughs> so that was the first one. <laughs> the second one that I have is uh, this uh, replica of uh, a Chinese flute. So it's uh, one stick. The embouchure looks like uh, that. And uh, well, it's a good flute. I, I can play it a little. I have some sounds that uh, I can. Uh, make so you you can see five holes on it and uh, on the bottom you have just one oh, sorry right there and uh, two seconds there so i don't know really about what the meaning of that uh, three holes uh, are but uh, i think that it's maybe to have m more uh, notes that is possible so well about the sounds it's like that. Well, so I don't really know the musical things that uh, we can do with the, the split, but uh, the sound like is like that. And uh, as you can see, yeah, a beautiful dragon on it. So well, but the story of that flute, it's, um, it was uh, in my grandfather's house. Uh, I found that and, uh, well, I tried to play it and uh, I asked him if uh, I could take it. Because as he didn't play that uh, flute, uh, well, uh, I just uh, asked him if uh, I could take it to try it more and uh, try to s look at the different uh, techniques on it but uh, well I, I confess uh, I uh, was a little um, I have some difficulties as you could see to play that one so well it was a, a replica of a Chinese flute oh, that's it uh, now the third one, it's um, it's looked like the the bef the one uh, that uh, we saw before, but um, yes, it's made of uh, a kind of steel. We have uh, here six holes. Uh, the embouchure looks like the previous one, and uh, we also have a, a hole on the bottom. Uh, so I will try to play it and then uh, I will explain you when and how I have it. It's um, I think a, a South America uh, flute, but it's kind of traditional one. So and uh, as the <laughs> the two previous one, I don't really know how to play it. So I will try to make sounds, but uh, I'm not sure that uh, it will work. <laughs> It's really hard to, to make some sounds because you have to make a hole on it. Uh, my finger is uh, my lips. So if I can see you more preci precisely, you have to 
to put your flute that way. But anyway, it's kind of really difficult to play with uh, that one. Well, it was the final one about the first category that I showed you. Uh, I mean uh, about the decoration one. So now we will uh, pass to uh, the second categories uh, that I I will say that uh, it's Irish flutes. The second category are my Irish flutes. So you have two kind of three kinds, sorry, of Irish flutes. You have uh, first of all tin whistles. Uh, you have also low whistles that uh, are in fact uh, the, the biggest version of tin whistles and then Irish transverse flute. So I will start with my tin whistles. Um, I will show you all of them for now and uh, you will see that uh, it's not uh, necessary a good idea to have a lot of them, but in fact, uh, all those whistles have different keys. So the first one is this little one. I don't know if yes, we can see the little the letter G on it. So it's really difficult to me to play at that because, as you can see, it's really small and the holes are so small for my biggest fingers. But anyway, I will try to play. <laughs> it's really so difficult to me. I never played that before. I, I, I confess that, uh, in fact, uh, I, I found that and I wish to, to have a, a G1. But anyway, uh, just before to continue, I don't uh, I don't told you the story of that one in fact it was a, a good friend of mine that uh, offered me that flute for my birthday so thank you to him he will recognize him himself and uh, well it was a pretty good present I'm sorry to him because I confess that I don't play a lot this flute but uh, it's not because I don't like it, it's because it's really hard to play and uh, I have to focus on it, but anyway. Um, I thank him. And now we will continue the Tin Whistle series. So you had the G Whistle one, yeah. The second one that I have is the most common Tin Whistle in Irish uh, music that you can uh, find. It's uh, in the key of D. And. Um, in fact, it's uh, the same kind of flute that uh, the first one uh, with uh, six holes, no ones on the bottom, and um, it's a little easier to me to play uh, at because it's a, a larger flute. Uh, so I'll try to remember some standards, Irish standards. The first one I think that uh, I had with this little one, I bought uh, them uh, together on the store in Paris. It's uh, about, I think, uh, 8 euros approximately. And uh, well, uh, they are really awesome, but you know, it's ma it's uh, make a sounds and high sounds so. I don't want to annoy my neighbors, so <laughs> I don't play it so much. Then we have another one in the key of C. That uh, that one it's uh, in C, so it's look like a similar that the D one. Uh, yeah, the camera is here, and um, it's Walton's the. 
the mark of uh, those whistles are wild tons and uh, this one is a generation uh, whistle so we'll see what we could play so it's more uh, it's less aggressive and uh, I love that this whistle uh, in C the, the, the key of C is uh, pretty good to me to play uh, you have so the the note of C C D E F G A uh, I think that it's a, a B and a C and the octave so and um, so you have a lot of uh, fingering style but uh, it's maybe too technical and uh, I will try to make uh, other videos on it if you are interested. But well, it was the Tin Whistle Walton in C. And now the final one, it's the biggest one and it's a generation one. It's in the key of uh, B flat. And um, I, uh, I bought it uh, some days ago. I love it. good sound to me uh, generation and Waltons are not uh, really good whistles you know but uh, it's uh, not too much expensive and uh, it's uh, anyway a good whistle to start with uh, you have uh, other marks of whistle as a uh, Goldie uh, I think that uh, Shiftings and a lot of other ones <laughs> also Suzetto and um, well it's good uh, good whistles to start with and uh, well after to say that I think that uh, it's uh, it's a matter of uh, our thinking maybe you will love to play on that one but uh, maybe some of the other ones that uh, will be better to use so well. it's a matter of uh, of thinking and about the sounds the sound are different if uh, the flute is made uh, of uh, steel or if it's made of PVC uh, kind of polymer uh, as we can see now we will I will show you my low D whistle so it's a Suzato uh, Kindare it's uh, in PVC so it's plastic one. and uh, I love that whistle because it's kind of uh, easy to play and uh, the sound is good also mm, what I could play much that one uh, because uh, I uh, recently had uh, my tin whistle in B flat so I play a lot on that these few days and I also uh, play the next one that I will show you but now I will try to to remember a good good stone tiles and uh, my for sure my uh, technique is not a good one because uh, I learned that by myself, so I have a lot of rocks to make before to be a, a kind of professional, but I will try to. So what we have... Um
Suzato USA made in US uh, Suzato Kindare Lodi Whistle and um, to finish my uh, favorite ones even I love uh, all uh, of my flutes but my favorite ones is uh, my uh, Irish uh, transverse flute so it's look like that uh, with the embouchure you have six holes and then two other ones uh, that I don't use on that one because you have two kind of uh, transverse flute one with uh, some uh, some keys on it so it's kind of mechanics that you can see and uh, you can have some other notes with that and uh, also the, the two ones that you can see here when you have keys on the Irish flutes those, uh, sorry, those uh, two ones are sometimes blocked by keys and then you can open it when you push uh, you put a, a pressure on it and well mine is a, a keyless Irish flute it's uh, in the key of D so has the same one that uh, my low whistle or my tin whistle that you saw before and um, it's uh, a wood uh, I think yeah it's a, a rosewood so it's made uh, in rosewood and uh, it's pretty good, nice sounds to me. Pretty good, nice song. Sorry about my, about my English, it's really bad, but anyway. <laughs> I will try to be understand by all of us. So I will try to play that. What we could play, uh, I think that I will play a jig that called out uh, on the ocean, if I remember. <laughs> nice sounds to me the the wood uh, flutes are kind of um, uh, give us a, a round sound and a, um, a warm one also you can have some PVC ones uh, that are similar to a wood one but wooden one but it's not exactly the same and um, well uh, I love that flute it's my favorite. Uh, I love the sound that uh, it's make and uh, it's come from Highland. So, and uh, if you are interested, then you can also ask me on the comments uh, about uh, where I found them, uh, them, and uh, I will uh, try to give you links for in order that uh, you could try to buy once if you wish. Um, what to say more? Uh, so it's tunable too. Yeah, you can see the slide that you can have. It's in fact in three parts. You have uh, the first one here, the second one is the biggest one here, and finally the the mouthpiece here with the embouchure and uh, well you can also put it uh, in fact it's a, a little part here that uh, I had to the top one and uh, well it's pretty good so I have a lot of flutes for now and uh, I will try to have maybe more of them if I can find them. I will try. You have a lot of uh, tonalities uh, for Irish flutes simply because um, the fingering is more easiest. Sometimes you, you can see the holes here so you just 
put your finger on the hole and you have uh, the nut. You also can make some uh, some half holes, but it's really difficult. So it's uh, this kind of flute is made to have a, a good fingering and a, a, a fast one also. It's uh, it's better to play some fast songs and the uh, Irish traditional songs are sometimes so fast so it's a uh, it's more easier to to play that way and uh, well that's why you have a lot of tonalities and uh, a lot of kind of flutes that uh, has those ones so well <laughs> i hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, sorry about my it was a kind of first experience, experiment, first experiment, I think it's better to write that way. Uh, it was a first experiment that I made, so if you are enjoying that one, please let me know in comments. And well, if I have some more, I will enjoy to present you the other ones. Uh, thank you by the way, and uh, have a good day. See you.